Okay, I'm back in my review of the Glossy Palomino Old Timer. Um, I really like him. I don't know if they still have him on the website because I haven't really been on the bar website as of late. But he is really, really glossy. And I really, I really, really love Palominos. Um, and I love how he has this tack on. So it's like... He is ready to go pull a carriage, and I don't know, for some reason he always reminds me of like the horses in Black Beauty, how they're just like carrot, like ready to pull a carriage, and Black Beauty is like one of my favorite books, but, um, so I believe this is older mold, yeah, it's probably an older mold since I think this model's been around for like forever, um, it has these chains. They're actually really nicely painted, too. Like, the chains and stuff, they're all just really, really nicely painted. I'm not sure if my camera's getting it, because I'm filming on an iPhone. <laughs> but, yeah, his eyes, you can't really see it, but they're, like, they have, like, white rims, on, grayish rims on them. I think it's just the way they're painted. I'm not sure if that's just my model, if that's just, or if that's all models. He has socks on all his feet. Of course, he has the classic Palomino flax and mane and tail. And his mane is actually split where it goes on both sides. So, yeah, he has his mane on both sides. I actually called mine Toby. Don't ask why. Um, his one leg is bent. So he's just like, he's resting. And I really like him. You can actually, the like the details, like you can see some of his like rib detailing and hip detailing in here. The camera, I don't think is picking it up. He's picking up a little, but there's some rib detailing and hip detailing in on him, which is actually really impressive to me. Because, yeah, you can kind of see it better on this side. He has some rib detailing and hip detailing. And I love how they did the fading on his face. It just fades so nicely into the Palomino color on the side. And the fading reminds me of like what you would see on all vintage model horses. Like if you go on eBay and you see model vintage model horses if they have like the band, the stripes and stuff on their face, the blazes, a lot of times they'll be faded like that, so it's kind of like the, they were trying to make it look like he would back then, I guess, I'm not sure, but it just fades so nicely, um, and I'm not really sure where I was going with that, but, yeah. I actually wanted him for a long time. He's actually still LSQ. I don't know if you can show glossy horses, but there's like no scratches on him at all. And I've actually filmed with him. I was like, I need to film with him. He is gorgeous. But he's mainly been sitting on my shelf. This is the most attention he's gotten in a while. <laughs> most of my models, this is the most attention they've gotten in a while because they've been sitting on my shelf all summer. Hey, that's why I haven't been filming. Yeah. Yeah, I've set my models on my shelf and forgot about them. <laughs> um, he is actually really, really pretty. I love him. So, yeah.